Welcome to Ignite Success. I'm your host, Snowden McFall, 25-year professional speaker, six-time author, and coach for women in confident public speaking and money business breakthroughs. And in today's Keep Your Fire Burning segment, I want to talk to you about a really startling statistic that just came out from the U.S. Department of Labor. And that is that between August and September of 2020, 865,000 women, 865,000 women left the workforce because of COVID. Not moved to remote, but left the workforce. It's expected that 2 million will leave before the end of COVID. And folks, we cannot afford that. Women with our emotional intelligence, our willingness to build consensus, to compromise, to make decisions for the greatest good are essential to the workforce. They are often the hidden glue that keeps companies together when there's tremendous pressure and enormous deadlines and cutbacks. The impact economically to these women's lives of not having employment is catastrophic. And yet many of them felt that they had no choice because of their children and not wanting to risk them going back to school with COVID. So what can be done? How can employers make a difference in this and prevent another million from leaving the workforce? Well, there are several strategies. One of them is to allow employees to continue to work remotely the entire time. Obviously, that won't work for frontline essential workers, but for everybody else, that should be something that's very seriously considered. Flex time is another strategy to help women in the workplace so that they can monitor their kids and pick them up after school and ensure their safety. And then having childcare in the workplace is even better. You can't believe how few businesses have childcare in the workplace. That one change would make a revolutionary shift for women at work. And then finally, acknowledging the power of women in your workforce, looking for those hidden gems, those women who are making such a difference but are not being acknowledged, and making sure that they do get acknowledged in company events, in company intranets, in company e-blasts and emails. Acknowledging women in the workplace and bringing greater diversity to the workplace is so critical to every business's success in this world. So make sure that you're doing what you can in your workplace to champion women, to make it easier for them, because we need women in the workplace.